Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy J7. Now you're first going to start off by selecting your language, and then once you do, hit start. If you mess it up at any point and actually touch accessibility, it could cause some issues, so just be careful when you're setting this up. Now you're going to go ahead and start, and then you're going to want to be in a Wi-Fi location or a place that you have really strong internet. Why? Because if you're not, what happens is, is that you actually will not be able to restore your phone the way you want it to be and set it up properly. So make sure you're in a good Wi-Fi area or you have really good strong connection on your LTE. So right now we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi right here. And then once we're connected, we're going to go next and agree. Now it's testing out my connection. Obviously, I have a good one, so I don't have anything to worry about. But it's going to see if you want to copy everything from another device. If you would, you use what's called tap and go. So I'll just show you what this looks like. You put the two devices back to back and then tap them to set it up. Very simple and easy. We are going to skip this process because we do not have another phone. So we're going to start this one fresh. What that will do though, is it's going to transfer all your Google accounts and everything you have on your old phone to this one. So it's really good if you do have your old phone. But since we don't, we're going to create a Gmail account. If you have not created a Gmail account, you are going to want to create one because you cannot download apps unless you have that. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. and then you're going to enter in your password and then once you do that you're going to go next And then you will set your time zone, which mine is Pacific, so just set it to whatever yours is. And you can set up another email account if you do need it. Uh, for us, we do not. Uh, we're not going to be setting up a Outlook account or anything like that. Or even if you're coming from an iPhone, you can set up your iCloud account. We will not protect this one, although that is recommended for anyone else. And then finally, it'll ask us if it wants us to restore based on our previous phones. We are going to decline that, so we're going to hit this and set up as a new device. But as you can see, I have set up a lot of devices, and that's how you can set up yours as well. And then you can create a Samsung account. We are going to skip this portion, but I definitely recommend you set up a Samsung account simply because if you ever lose your phone this can allow you to find it so it gives you as you can see find your mobile is the main reason to get it however you also do get exclusive apps that you can't get anywhere else on galaxy or it gives you uh, free versions of apps say like microsoft office word powerpoint excel you can get free from the galaxy app store and then if you want to you can set up easy mode Easy mode is a mode I definitely recommend if you are a first time smartphone user. If you are not, then you should be fine with the regular version that it comes with. All right, we're gonna tap finish. This will look different depending on which carrier you are on. Uh, T-Mobile and Metro will have different things and so will AT&T or any other carrier that decides to carry this in the end. All right guys, and that is how you set up your Galaxy J7. If you're wondering on other things you can do with the phone, please make sure to check out my other videos on how to speed up the phone and how to save battery life. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.